Shalom, this is Nathaniel from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakotash, the belongs to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, the teaching, rule well among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad in the four winds of earth, out there in the highways, and just pushing the truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so um, there's going to be in a collapse, there's going to be a collapse of the economy here very soon. And um, this video that I was watching, I took notes. I written down what he was saying. And um, it's going to be a time that this earth is not seen before. All right. The whole system that is being set up. All right. Goes into Revelation chapter 13. And um, <clears throat> yeah, no further ado. Just going to get right into it. Um, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, I'm just gonna blow through the spirit, grab scriptures concerning this. Um, and Yahweh right Desire is gonna be edifying. And, you know, this is very important to understand the times that we're in and what's about to happen here very soon. All right. A lot of people's uh, rights and so called rights and um, freedoms are gonna be taken, which is rightfully so. And this is this is pretty much the punish, punishment of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. And for the elect, Yahweh Tazah, I'm of that number, you know, we're going to make through do it all. And that's what it's about, man. You know, it's about the elect. All right, so no further ado, I'm going to start in Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14, just to start it off with. And it reads, The great day of the Lord Yahweh is near. It is near and it hastes greatly. All right. And it says here, even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh. And that's what's happening. Because these prophecies, as it talks about in Habakkuk chapter uh chapter two, verse three, you know, these visions are set for an appointed time. All right, they're speaking and not lying. You know, though with Terry, we are waiting for it. Why? Because they're gonna come. And it's not going to tarry for no man. Okay. All right. So we see that the, the, the great and dreadful day of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Shai, is about to be here. And it hastes greatly. Why? Because these prophecies are, are popping like popcorn, man. This is the year 2022, the year of the turn up, man. You know, and I can only imagine what's going to happen here very soon. Going on to on to this other so called new year, all right, two thousand and twenty three. So you know we gotta, you know, pretty much buckle down in the spirit and get ready for the ride, man, because it's gonna get rough. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly, all right. So even the tough guys are gonna cry because how cruel. How bad it's going to get. Okay. Now. Going into the note here. It says. A new system that is going to come online. That is financially in time of crisis. It will be called the answer. <coughs> so I'm going to read it again. A new system that is going to come online. Online. That is financial is financial in time of crisis. So there's going to be a new system. Why? Because this system that we are living in is falling apart. The currencies are losing its power, its value. That's why things are becoming more expensive because it's backed by nothing. And they keep pu pumping money from out of nowhere, which is creating a um, inflation. Which is ultimately, you already see it happening. You know, it's going to be a, a very high inflation, which is going to end up being into hyperinflation to the point where the economy is just going to collapse because nobody's going to be able to afford to live in a society like that. And that's why they said they're going to put in, which they already have, a new system that is going to come online that is financial in time of crisis. It will be called the answer. And this is what they're going to do to break the people, right? Because a lot of people don't understand the system that's being set up, but it goes right into Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. 
the charagma, the C-H-I-P, okay? All right. Of a total collapse of the economy, you see? And that's what the, the global reset is all about, okay? They're going to reset everything in the, in the, in the way that they want. Okay, China is a prime example of what they what they're going to bring to the world, man. They're going to let everyone suffer for a while, few months, maybe a year. People will be scared and desperate. Cash will go away, currencies, trading, crypto. So all that money that people so-called money that people make now, okay, cash, you know, your currencies, trading, right? Crypto they use, you know, with the Bitcoin, that's all going to go away, right? Because they're going to bring in a new system. They will flip the switch overnight. Checkmate. No way out of it, right? Because everybody is, uh, is, is, is dependent on this system, okay? A lot of people say they're independent, that they're doing their own thing. They don't need no help, you know, all this other bullshit. Well, the, how many fathers give, has given you that? But now he's going to take it away because he controls the whole situation, whether you want to hear it or not. This is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, and it reads, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. And the king's heart is talking about the heart here in the Hebrew is lab, which means the mind. So the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So he controls the minds. Of the of the kings, man, which are these so-called leaders today, all right. So when he gives a green light, you gonna have these leaders flip the switch and overnight, all right, and boom, everything that you have worked for is gone. All right. So the new currency is called the USDR. Okay. Moving crypto, cash, bonds into this new digital currency. So-called elites get to do this, but the average person won't get that chance, right? So they're going to set up a new currency, the USDR, which is leading into the CHIP, which is the Haragma. Okay, the MOTB, Revelations chapter, and those are abbreviations. The MOTB, you should get it, Revelations chapter 13, verse 16, <coughs> right? Now, they're going to cause order out of chaos. That's the head title that I have here for my notes. Um, solution is a type of guarantee income per month, but not a lot. And that's what they're going to have to set up, just like they have set up in China, right? Social score tied to it. You misbehave, your money is gone. Doesn't that sound similar to what's going on in China? They've been doing this. They've been... <laughs> Let me get it real quick. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And woe is synonymous to destruction, but meaning mourning and lamentations. All right? To them that cause people to fall. Okay? It says here, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right? They work evil upon their beds because that means they're, they're in very uh, secluded, secretive places. Uh, stirring up plans and things and how to bring in this so-called new world order. All right. And they're doing it step by step and it's called gradualism. Everything that's been going on is due to gradualism. Okay. As it says here in my notes, it says their AI and modeling shows people will comply. You see, so they've been practicing behind closed doors, as it says here, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, because the Heavenly Father given them the power, because he controls them. There's no such thing as freedom of will. All right. So that's what that's what the that's what's being set up right now. Now the different classes that they got, they got classes, <clears throat> they got class C, which is a common credit score. Okay or USDR amount of 1,000. The S class, government, celebrities, media, 